Hey Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura and I'm from babycurltarot.com. Keep in mind this reading is for any Gemini placement you want to check in on, including any planet or astrological house that may be in Gemini, whatever it is, you are welcome here. We're going to go ahead and get right on into the reading. Spiritual team, what is the overall energy for the next seven days for my Geminis? What is the overall energy for the next seven days for my Geminis? Almost had one flip over. All right, let's see. What do we have, Spirit? What do we have? Okay, we have the Snapdragon Purification. Okay, what's at the bottom? The Cucumber Emotion. Okay, some potential emotional cleansing. That's what I'm getting. Um, I am recording this around the full moon in Pisces, so heightened emotions can definitely come about. Um, also, Mercury retrograde is in full swing until October 2nd, which um, is the planet that rules your sign. So there could be a lot of emotional situations coming up for you, things that you need to let go of, so on and so forth. Let's get into the tarot though and see what it is you guys need to know. Spiritual team, what messages do you have for my Geminis for the next seven days? What messages do you have for my Geminis for the next seven days? Okay. Come here. All right. We have the Four of Swords, Ten of Wands reversed, Four of Pentacles reversed, and the Seven of Swords reversed with the Seven of Pentacles reversed. Okay. Okay, Geminis are taking a break <laughs> from what I can see. That or you need one. Let's get into the bottom of this deck. We have the Seven of Pentacles reversed, Justice reversed, Ace of Cups, and Strength reversed. Ooh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, okay, um, potentially a divorce for some of you. Let's be honest. Um, yeah, potentially a divorce here what else what else something that you're trying to make happen that hasn't been working out the way that you want it to um needs some re revisiting um it feels like with the seven of pentacles reverse and the strength card in reverse you have your hands too tight around the neck of whatever it is you're trying to make happen whether this is a relationship whether this is a project of some sort um whatever it is, it just feels like you're holding on too tight. You need to let go of it, okay? And then you need to go back and look at things that maybe you have been doing that weren't um, either necessary or conducive to the growth of whatever it is that you're trying to do. Something here is off balance. You need to go back and rethink how you wanna go about it. And I'm also hearing that this is an opportunity to put your heart and soul into whatever it is and let it kind of flow a little bit more um and again not trying trying your best to not have a plan for every single outcome or every single thing that you do and put into this especially if this is a relationship if you are so hell-bent on making it work or making it move forward in a very specific timeline or way, um, that's not fair to you. It's not fair to your partner. You need to let things flow naturally, okay? Especially when it comes to matters of the heart, it needs to flow naturally. You can't control water. Let's be real. Water will always find a way to flow the way that it wants to flow. Does that make sense? Um, okay, let's take a look at these cards up here. Right off the bat, the Four of Swords and the Ten of Wands reversed is telling me that y'all need a break <laughs> or you need to chill out. <laughs> You're doing too much, Geminis. What are you guys doing? Um, the Ten of Wands in reverse tells me that, and maybe this goes back to your reading from last week because you guys were feeling overworked, stressed out, underpaid, undervalued. So maybe you guys are finally realizing, like, I don't need to take on so much all the time or, you know, put so much pressure on yourself to succeed or make something happen. Um, sometimes you just, you need to take a step back and look at everything that's going on and kind of reassess how to move forward. Um, sometimes that means, you know, being a little bit more open to going with the flow a little bit more open to accepting help, okay? Um, 
the seven of swords in reverse is really interesting to me i don't know if there is a truth you haven't been seeing um or some sort of lie that you've been telling yourself about what success means to you um, in any area of life that can be success in relationships success in business success in education whatever it is i don't know if there has been something that you've been telling yourself that is completely untrue in terms of how this should play out um but what i'm feeling is you guys definitely being a little bit more open-minded with the four of pentacles reversed and being open to new experiences new ways of going about things and um you know kind of cleansing those those old ideas that you held on so tightly to right does that make sense i hope it does um Again, this is a general message, so it's going to be different. It's going to feel different to everybody. So do take the message as it resonates for you as an individual. Um, and if you ever want a personal reading, you can always hit me up at my website, which is below in the description box. But I hope that general message kind of covers what my Geminis are feeling in different areas of their lives. Okay, let's get into the last oracle deck of the reading. Now, again, Geminis, whatever messages come up from this deck could be related to what we've been talking about, could be completely unrelated. It's just additional things you need to know for the next seven days. All right, spiritual team, what final messages do you have for my Geminis for the next seven days? Now, these cards were jumping when I was shuffling between readings. So, oh, they said you spoke too soon. <laughs> All right, let's clean this up and try again. All right, spiritual team, what final messages do you have for my Geminis for the next seven days? What final messages? Okay, let's take a look at the other half of the deck. Spiritual team, what final messages do you have for my Geminis for the next seven days? What final messages do you have for my Geminis? Let's take a look. We have the faraway dog, a distant friend is thinking of you. Okay. Okay. Again, could be completely unrelated, but maybe there's a friend that you need to reconnect with. Um, maybe you've been thinking about them too. Sometimes things work that way. One person will think of the other person and the other person will start thinking about them. Um, that is intuitive connection right there. We also have the bag, something important, such as a new job or a raise. Okay, so some of you guys, this reading was talking about you preparing for a raise or doing everything you can to get a raise or a promotion or, you know, getting something really important set up for yourselves, proving that you're worthy of it. You don't need to hold on to it so tight. You guys are worthy of whatever this is. Sometimes you need to give yourselves a little bit of a break and just kind of be open to letting things happen the way that they're supposed to. Let's take a look at the bottom of each of these piles. We have December. So some of you guys, this could be coming for you in September, whatever the situation is that you are working towards. Um, this is Sagittarius and Capricorn season. So maybe you guys have some of those placements that are significant. If you have Sag or Cap in your uh, chart, you can check out those readings as well if you feel called to. Um, but mostly what I'm getting December is gonna be a month a big month for whatever it is that you are working towards. Let's take a look at the other half. We have the bull. Do not back down from opposition. So show strength and fortitude. Okay. So again, though, <laughs> again, you don't have to always be so forceful. That's what I got from the bottom of the deck. It's good to have resilience. It's great to have fortitude. It's great to have determination, motivation, all of those things. But at the same time, you are one person. You cannot do all things. Let's be real. That is the limitation of being a human being. You cannot do everything um, by yourself or, you know, even if it's just things that you want to do, you can't do it all, all at once, all the time. Okay. If you can, you are Superman, Superwoman, super person, and please teach me your ways, but, <laughs> or you were just, you know, you were made different, but 
for the majority of us, we are just human beings and we can only do so much and it's okay to give yourself a little bit of a break. It's okay to take care of yourselves. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, Geminis, I hope that makes sense. Please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the reading and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. If you want to see more content from me, I am on Instagram, TikTok, I have a blog. All that info on where to find me is below in the description box, as is my website if you want to schedule a personal reading with me. As always though, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week and I hope to see you next time. Bye!